calculate how much this value also four point zero two. So these four values I have taken here. You see this point zero two five for horizontal moment, minus point zero five plus point one zero one two minus six point zero seven four. So now you understand how I have obtained these values. Similarly, these values I have obtained for table shape also. And when I have obtained the moments to IS and Timo Shanko, I have observed personally that the values to do IS codes are on a little higher side. They are comparable, but they are on a little higher side. Surcharge. For surcharge, I have obtained values from Timo Shanko. That is 0.033. This is a similar question I have obtained. And shear coefficients. Shear coefficients also I need to obtain from Timo Shanko. So please check these nomenclature C A G D. This is C. This is C. This is A. This is G. And this is T. Right? Now let's move ahead. So these are the shear coefficients and the moment coefficients. They are, these I have taken from Demoshanko. Now we multiply these m these values are mx and y when you multiply these mx and y with the density coefficient that we have already seen above uh, so here in our case uh, for soil load which is which gives the triangular loading the coefficient of density is ka gamma dash plus gamma w and for surcharge load it is rectangular in nature so we have this Q naught only Q naught K Q naught K naught sorry K naught Q let me do it more clearly K naught okay this is the W here and AQ is height coefficient now if uh, we are using IS370 so how do we obtain the uh, moments from the coefficients these are the coefficients MI VI moment coefficient and uh, shear coefficient from IS codes, moment coefficient and shear coefficient is from Timoshenko. So, here in this case, if we have IS code, we multiply these the w, MI with W, W is this, with A cube, depth Q of depth. And if we have Timoshenko, what do we do? We get this MT from the table, we multiply this with the uh, density coefficient W, these W of W, multiply by depth. Only single um, depth. Here we have power 3. Okay. Here we have only power 1. A into B cube. B is the base which we are considering. So we have to square of the B to multiply. Similarly, in this V I W into A square for the similar case of the motion, we have V T into W A into B. You see this little bit here. Beta 3 is this. This value is beta 3. Now, beta 3 is multiplied by the Q and A square. What is Q? Q is the pressure. Pressure is density into H, right? Q is W into H. W is not the W. W is actually density coefficient, which is gamma W for water. K A gamma dash plus gamma W for such a good soil. So this W into H. This uh, we here we have already one uh, power of H already are existing in Q and A is the width of the uh, face. See here A is the width of the face. So here in Timoshenko we multiply the coefficients by Q into A square. That is density into height into A square width of the face. So that we need to be very careful about, right? So this is how we have seen the design of uh, how to obtain moments from the design coefficients in IS370 part 4 and in Timoshanko. Now let's uh, uh, continue. Analysis of bottom draft. Bottom draft is checked against serviceability for flotation sliding in uplift. We already discussed a factor of safety of 1.2 is ensured for all the three checks. If base area of the raft is insufficient in obtaining factor of 51.2, then overhang of suitable lengths are provided. After finalizing the base area, including length of the overhang, 
the rocket designed for maximum moment at the face of the wall for moment uh, it overhangs and at the uh, center of the raft for the tension this is actually reversible so we can see very specific the tension of the bottom the bottom tension can be at the top depending on how much load is there on the uh, overhangs or how much load is there on the tank surface so an analysis of the top slab the top slab is analyzed based on the is 456 This slab, in a similar manner as we analyze the beam of liquid, and if aspect ratio is less than two, the slab is analyzed as a two-way slab as per NSH D of IS 456. For present case, the slab is a two-way slab which is designed for for a good dead load of four kilonewton per meter square. Design is for showing parasites. Okay, now let's do the additional check. So while uh, designing for the reinforcement, we in the case of a tank, we need to In tank or we can say in any case any uh, raft in any slab two way slab we we should also we will get the reinforcement requirement based on the moments also while finalizing the uh, the reinforcement we should check uh, other uh, criteria which are governing in case of uh, under ground water tank The first criteria is minimum reinforcement. So there is a criteria of 0.24 percent um, should be the minimum reinforcement in each direction or any phase. That is the minimum governing criteria in a um, water tank as given by IS 3370 part two. In for slabs which are greater than 500 meter mm, uh, 500 mm. This uh, statement is saying that if suppose we have a raft whose thickness is more than five feet, then minimum reinforcement point to four four percent has to be obtained only for the top half of the width. Suppose this is seven fifty, so half to seven fifty is three seventy five, right? Three seventy five. So you obtain this uh, uh, reinforcement for zero point two four percent of Seventy-five. This is what it is to get this AST for three seventy-five depth only, and you you provide this in the top half of the slab. This is what we think. If uh, for slabs with depth greater than five hundred, assume each reinforcing phase controls d by two depth of the concrete. Now check for the stresses. Permissible stresses in the working stress method in concrete and steel are given in Table Seven. The thickness of the wall is governed by the stresses in the concrete section due to bending and tractation. These uh, stresses should be less than the permissible stresses are uh, as given in Table Seven. In addition, the stresses due to combined action of bending and tractation should also be checked as given by the equation one. This is the equation one. Then all answers are there. In WSM, it is not required to perform separate calculation for the crack width uh, in concrete due to design moments. If permissible stresses in concrete in direct tension and bending, so these are the requirements given in Table One of this. Then requirement to crack width is deemed to be satisfied. These permissible stresses are listed in Table Seven. And this is actually Table Five. By mistake, it was written in Table Seven. So this is the permissible concrete stresses in calculation. This is direct tension. This is uh, tension due to bending. This, um, please notice this is resistance for cracking, right? This is the new thing that is given in IS 3370 part two only. Okay? Please remember this. This is not uh, given in IS four phases. Other things are given in IS four phases, but this is given only in IS 3370 part two. Actually, this this table was uh, yeah, this table of resistance of cracking. This you see in the science series, so then only you will really understand. This table one of any. This is table one. You see this permissible concrete stresses in calculation of the concrete phase uh, related to resistance of cracking. For M thirty, it is one point five. For the tension due to bending is two point zero. This table is obtained from the previous uh, version of IS four five six. Not uh, the 2000 edition. 
so this we have taken from this table this table this thing this thing and also we need to sub so if uh, any um, any uh, slab or wall is uh, subjected to suppose this is a uh, axial tension in bending then it has to satisfy the combined stresses equation this is equation 1 this is the combined stresses calculated direct tensile stresses in the concrete sigma ct dash direct tensile this is permissible direct tensile this is uh, tensile stress due to bending this is tensile stress due to bending this is permissible so this uh, total value should remain less than 1 this check we have to uh, do in this before finalizing the reinforcement and the size of the reinforced concrete members. Skyquid calculation in immature and mature concrete. Skyquid due to the temperature and moisture in immature concrete is calculated as the annex A of this and is presented in section 4.6 of this report. So, this we will see in the design part. Following conditions shall be ensured to control the stresses and cracks to do moisture and temperature changes. Number one is reinforcement burden is not less than the specified. This we have already seen. Adequate precautions are taken of the concrete during the construction period and until the tank is put into use. Okay. Where there is a possibility of concrete eventually drying out, as in the case where there is a oil as a storage material instead of water, allowance for the increased effect of drying shrinkage should be made in the design of the crack control. So this we will see and we will also do the design for that uh, drying shrinkage in the analysis. So we will take up this design of the uh, members, walls, slabs and base slabs in the next lecture.